So this is more psychological than it is spiritual, but I wanted to share because I feel like it'll be beneficial to anybody that, that applies this, this principle. So I was just thinking about right now how there's a few different mindsets that people approach life from. And uh, I know people that approach life from the, the standpoint of being a victim and how life is so hard and they can't catch a break and, and this and that. And I know people that approach life from feed me all the hard stuff. Bring it in. Like, come on. Like, I'm ready. Because they've adopted the mindset that the hard stuff builds them up. It exposes their weakness and, and so they receive it with open arms. And the reason why they receive it mostly is because they know it's going to come anyways. They know that the hard stuff is going to come. And that there's no stopping the hard stuff. And so it's like loved ones will die. That's hard stuff to deal with, right? Bills will pile up. Um, like stuff that that you may not have control over will happen. That's hard stuff. Man. Storms, hurricanes, both in the physical and spiritual. These things occur. And it's like we can run and shelter and try to hide and try to duck and cover or we can just boldly and courageously stand up to it and say, you know, like the mindset there is what God wants us to adopt it. For example, God says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That mindset is approaching hard stuff and opening and going through the door of hardship and coming out the other side. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And so it's, there's not like, um, I've heard sermons, they talk about they're, they're not being, okay, you know the armor of God? The armor of God doesn't have a back shield. There's a breastplate of righteousness, but there's not a back shield because God never called us to, to turn around and, and run. So I've heard sermons on how like, he doesn't delight in cowards. So the 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 mindset and the heart set that we should adopt is whenever you face anything hard in life tweak your mindset tweak how your perception is looking at that mountain and understand that it's gonna come these things are gonna happen and so it's like either you're gonna be crushed by it or you're gonna make it work for you right the, the strongest people i know the leaders the successful people that i know they look at problems as a good thing, not as a bad thing, because they decided to make it work for them instead of against them. Okay, you're going to keep coming? All right, then instead of you breaking me down, I'm going to I'm gonna tweak my mind, my perception that every time a problem comes, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find strategy, I'm going to find skill sets, I'm going to find ways to overcome. As a, as a result, right? I'm gonna play a game with this hardship kind of thing, right? I'm gonna get good at, at hard stuff, at overcoming hard stuff. And so every time a hard thing comes up, I get excited instead of, oh man, here we go again. And it's, a, it's the same hard thing for both people, but it's the perception of what they're taking on. So I wanted to share because hard things are gonna happen. And the Bible says in the book of Revelations that we're going to go through times that has never gone, people have never uh, gone through in all of history. Things are going to get so bad that you can't even find a season in time that, that things were ever like that. So it talks about lawlessness. It talks about the days of Noah, right? And, um, and basically the, the, the love of many growing cold, and it's giving you indicators of how things are going to look and be. And so again, you can either be scared or you can have faith. And you can believe. And you can know the God that you serve. And then you can come close to God. And you can develop that, that type of connection with God to where he, you feed off of his strength. Feed off of his hope. Feed off of his you know, the, his mindset, his ways are higher than your ways, his thoughts are higher than your thoughts. So you feed off of him and you approach life from, 
from God's standpoint and you overcome right and you're doing it off of his strength because the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me he strengthens you so maybe this can help somebody out there